What is the difference between consciousness and conscience? You know, the thing about definitions of words is this is why Gurdjieff invented so many words, because we have definitions for them, but the definitions rarely agree. So I went to the dictionary for conscience, the sense or consciousness of the moral goodness or blameworthiness of one's own conduct, intentions, or character, together with a feeling of obligation to do right or be good, the faculty of power or principle in joining good acts, and the part of part of uh, a sense of consciousness of the moral goodness or blame or that's, that's I think that's a, about as good as it gets, really. Consciousness, on the other hand, is the quality or state of being aware, especially of something within oneself, the state or fact of being conscious of an external object. Awareness. So the difference between conscience and consciousness is that conscience is the awareness of what's right and wrong, whereas consciousness is awareness, especially of inner states. And I like that. I like that because we can be aware of anything out there, but it's not the same as being aware of inner states. If you can be aware of inner states, I mean, besides just the gross inner states, you know, there are gross inner states, like somebody gives you a million dollars, you have the gross inner state of being happy. Any moron could, could be conscious of that. And look at all the millionaire morons on the planet, which just goes to show you, and, and how many of them are really conscious of the fact that they're happy? Well, not really very many. Not all the time, because they thought that a million dollars was going to make them happy all the time, but it didn't. So they weren't conscious of the mechanics of what generates and supports inner states. They thought it was something external, and for most people it is, but it can't support an inner state. Something external can generate, it can trigger an inner state but it can't support it. So conscience is essentially something that we either have innate, real conscience, or it's something that we acquire through our contact with life. Other people tell us what's right and wrong. We agree with that unconsciously, usually. We unconsciously agree with that because that's what everybody all around us does. It's like growing up in a country where everybody weighs 400 pounds. And you go to a country where people only weigh 140 pounds, and you wonder what happened. What's wrong with these people? They're ugly. They're tiny. They're scrawny. They're gross. But then somebody who grows up in a country where everybody weighs 140 pounds and goes to a country where everybody weighs 400 pounds, and they're the same stature, they don't know what to do. They don't understand how such a mountain of flesh could exist. It looks like there should be four people where there's only one, or three people where there's only one. And they don't understand that, and they think it's ugly and gross. It's That's acquired conscience. Consciousness, on the other hand, is something that can grow, expand, or shrink. And it's happening all the time. Imagine a circle that expands and contracts, expands and contracts. And everything within that circle, those are things of which you are aware. Things of outside that circle, you don't know that they exist. Now, make that circle inside of you in your inner kingdom, and you have an idea of what we're talking about when we talk about consciousness. What makes consciousness attract, and expand and contract? Nobody asked that question, so we're not going to answer that. 